And welcome back into ABC 7 at noon. Now, October is Protect Your Hearing Month. It's something most people don't think about very often, but taking those steps to safeguard your hearing today can give you a better life tomorrow. Dr. Haley Owen joining us now, an audiologist at Livingston Hearing Aid Center. She's here to tell us why. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. And let's get right into it. So why is protecting your hearing so important right now? Yeah, so it's something that we don't really think about on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, probably 31 million Americans have noise-induced hearing loss that they, they may not even be aware of. Uh, we kind of like to think of it as something that's just age-related, but noise-induced hearing loss specifically is something that is cumulative over time. You know, noise exposure from when we're younger does tend to show up and affect us as we get older. Hmm. And so what kind of steps can people take right now to actually protect their hearing? Yeah, the best thing to do is just turn the volume down. You know, we like to use the rule of thumb 60-60. So 60% 60 of the volume, we're talking about, uh, you know, iPods and, and phones and things like that. 60% of the volume for a maximum of 60 minutes and then take a break. You know, also distancing yourself from a sound source. So if you're at a loud concert or a sporting event and the speakers are very close to you, the further you can get away from those speakers, the better off you're going to be. You know, getting your, your hearing tested annually is also important. Mm. We don't always know about a hearing loss w when it first starts. You know, we might notice we don't understand as well, but we don't necessarily think of it as hearing loss. So if we get our hearing tested annually, it's never too early to start doing that, then we're gonna be able to uncover a mild hearing loss sooner. The sooner we can treat it, the better. You know, at Livingston, we do free hearing testing. We never charge for it. So there's really no excuse not to come in and get your hearing tested and just find out where you are. That's some great advice right there, Dr. Owen. Is hearing loss actually connected with some other health conditions? Absolutely. The, the big one that comes to mind is dementia. You know, with an untreated hearing loss, even a mild untreated hearing loss, you're anywhere from two to five times more likely to start developing signs of dementia and cognitive decline. So, I mean, that's really the big one. Uh, also, with that goes uh, social isolation. You know, we tend to withdraw from people when we can't hear. So that, that also can contribute to the you know dementia factor, but it also contributes to loneliness and depression. Absolutely, Dr. Owen. Is there anything else you wanted to add? Um, I think it's important to know that most people wait too long. So you know the statistic is it's an average of seven years people wait to treat their hearing loss from the time that they first start to notice it. Um, I don't know if it's because of the stigma that's attached to hearing aids or, or, or what, but uh, people people just wait. And really, it's like I said earlier, the sooner we can treat the hearing loss, the better. And the hearing aids we have today are amazing. You know, we have technology and hearing aids. It's not just for hearing anymore. These aren't your grandpa's hearing aids. Uh, we have technology like Bluetooth streaming and uh, health tracking and, um, you know, find, find my hearing aid capabilities. So the hearing aids are actually kind of cool these days. Wow. All right, Dr. Owen, some good stuff right there. Well, thank you again for stopping by. Thank you.